number two. So that was it for SEO. Uh, and that was kind of a long way to go uh, in the SEO world. But you know that's, that's a huge part of driving traffic and, and gaining traffic uh, to your website. So before I go any further, uh, are there any questions of anything that I did cover uh, that you guys want to uh, make sure that I clarify on? If so, there's a Q&A in the top, maybe top left. It's top left on my screen, but I don't see what you guys see. So um, if there's any questions, pop them in there and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, and uh, let's see, let me look over here. All right, don't see any at the moment. So I'll go on and, and I will come back. If, if, some, if you think of something, just pop it in there and, and I'll circle back. So, all right, let's talk about paid ads. If I want to purchase a computer, I'm probably going to go to a computer store, right? And it might be a physical store like this, uh, but more likely it's going to be a computer website like uh, Alienware or Dell or uh, Best Buy or you know something like that, right? Well, the same really is true if you want traffic. If you want more traffic, and especially if you want more traffic now, you're going to need to go to the traffic store. And typically those traffic stores are these two right here, Facebook ads and Google AdWords, or Google ads is what it's really called now. So those two systems are the main place that you're going to uh, advertise to get people to come visit your, uh, your Facebook page or your website or whatever it happens to be. Now, here's a, a little bit older graphic, but this still blows me away. 2017, Facebook hit 2 billion monthly active users. Now, what's interesting here is this is not total users on their system. That number is a lot higher. This number is monthly active users, meaning they are checking Facebook often, at least monthly, but more likely daily, and in some cases hourly, right? <laughs> But so you know the uh, the amount of people that are on this system, obviously, super incredible. The amount of local people that you can reach uh, on Facebook is just incredible as well. Now, at the same time that this number is really growing hugely, Facebook did something interesting. They took away the ability for businesses with with branded Facebook pages to reach the audience that had already liked them. So, you know, when for, when Facebook first came out and Facebook pages came out, if somebody clicked like and they were they became your fan, they saw everything you posted and it was fantastic. And over time, Facebook started squeezing that number down and you can see the the organic reach now of a post and this is from from uh 14 was 6%. This number is, is abysmal now. It's hardly anything. That means for every, even a, let's just say February of 14, for every 100 posts that I put out, only six people saw it. Or let me rephrase that. For every post I put out, if I had 100 fans, only six of them would see my post. And that number is even smaller now. You know, the organic reach of your Facebook page is pretty small nowadays. Uh, there are some things that play into that. How active are your users? How engaged are they? Are other people commenting on something that might drive it you know, to be a little bit more pushed up and more uh, visible? And if we see here numbers uh, of pages with less than half a million likes, which I would venture to say is most small businesses, you know, there's, there's no reach when it comes to organic reach. I'm sorry. There's there's just posting something people are not going to see it, right? Which sucks, but that's just the way it is. So enter Facebook ads. Imagine that. Now there is a way to advertise to the people that already said they want to hear from your business. <laughs> but Facebook gets to make a little money off of it, right? So they came out with this system and the system is just incredible. You can target by a lot of things. Some of these um, they've started to take away uh, if you remember the Cambridge Analytica uh, event from a couple years ago, some of these things you can't target anymore like net worth and um, 
uh, yearly revenue or yearly income, things like that. But there's still plenty of things that you can target. Age, gender, location, uh, what type of device they're on, uh, offline purchase behavior, do they, do they tend to spend money on digital products, do they tend to spend money on fashion or home decor, you know, you can target those kinds of people now. You can also target um, people who like certain businesses. So, for instance, uh, people who like Hunter Douglas would be a fantastic one. You can you can get in front of those kind of people and then say, I want to get in front of people who like Hunter Douglas who are within 40 miles of Memphis. That you can do. So, um, pretty cool the, the, the amount of targeting that you can do. You can also do it by local, by weather, uh, by seasonality, so um, uh, first-time home buyers, uh, new mothers. There's a lot of different ways to, to target on Facebook. You can even target farmers if you need to. Um, I would assume that most of the people on today's training don't need to target farmers, but you never know. If you do, you can, which is good to know, right? <laughs> So you know some of the uh, some of the, the targeting is uh, is pretty incredible on their system, and you can you know obviously it comes down to having the right ad in front of the right person with the right picture. There's a lot of lot to that, and we'll probably end up doing a little bit deeper dive into into paid ads in a future month training session. Uh, so all right, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about Google AdWords, a little bit different system. So with Facebook. You're really targeting, you're, let me back up, you're kind of, uh, it's more of an interruption, right? When you're on Facebook, you're looking at the kids or the grandkids, and you're looking at cats, and you're looking at that kind of stuff, family news, family updates, those sort of things. When it comes to Google, you're typically researching more information, or you're looking to purchase something, right? So you're not necessarily doing either of those on Facebook. So it's a different mindset and a different way to get in front of people. With Facebook, it's more interruption. You know, hey, you you need to get this thing, right? Well, that's not really what they're looking for. On Google, they're probably looking for the thing that you're advertising or the service or the product or whatever it happens to be, right? So they've got a couple different kinds of ads. Most people are familiar with search ads, which is when you type in something, right at the top there is one or two or three ads, sometimes even four ads, before you see the, uh, the map pack with the local results and before you see the organic SEO-related results, there are ads there. Those are search ads. App ads are ads that show up uh, either on the bottom or the top of an app that you're using, or sometimes in games uh, they pop up before you can get the next free ball or whatever it happens to be, right? Those sort of ads are app ads, and they show up inside of uh, mobile apps. Video ads are related to YouTube, so anytime you're trying to watch a video, first you have to sit through an ad, uh, that is another network related to the Google Ads system. And then display ads. So display ads are your ads running on other people's websites. So uh, these people have said, you know what, we want to show ads related to whatever our particular blog is about or our top our website is about, and Google will share that ad re revenue with them. So. You can target specific websites if they are uh, using the, the display ad system on both ends. So great way to expand your audience, typically a, a, low, um, a low cost uh, depending on the topic, uh, but, uh, but another way to do it. So most people are familiar with, with search ads, as I said. A couple cool things you can do with their ad system. You can target customers that you already know. So you can upload a list of past customers, for example, uh, and, and Google will make that connection if they're logged in to their, to their Android phone, they're going to be logged into that. Uh, but if they're using Google, then Google can actually figure out who those people are after you upload it, make that connection, show your ad specifically to those people. So if you're having a, you know, a come back and, and uh, be our customer again sale, uh, and you know, get a 
get a percentage off, you could do that. You can also exclude your current customers to go the other route and reach only new customers. So you could upload your list of customers and say, don't show my ads to these people because they're already my customers. Only show my ads to new customers. So another way to do it, run some ads, we call them cold ads typically, uh, that, are, that are tied to keywords and location. Uh, and then last, you can uh, reach users that are similar to your customers. So this is pretty cool. And you can do this on Facebook too. Upload a list of current slash past customers and Google and Facebook will look at those overall demographics of those types of people and their activities and then show related, uh, build an audience of people that they think is related in demographics and size and activities to those people and show those kind of people ads. Uh, these are typically called lookalike audiences and they're a great way to really kind of build your uh, your overall reach and be a little bit more specific about who you want to be in front of. And as I said, I think we're going to do a uh, we're doing a training in the future specifically on paid ads. Not a huge fan of paid ads only because um, it, when you stop paying for paid ads, you disappear. You're no longer in the system. If you're not doing any of the SEO stuff we talked about earlier, you pretty much disappear. So you're kind of stuck paying to get those leads. And that's really what we try to shy away from. We want you to get those leads organically, naturally, and and start to generate those. Then what you can do is run paid ad campaigns to kind of supplement what you're already doing, which is a much better scenario because now you can show up on one search two or three times, you know, so you're getting more opportunities at those eyeballs that are doing those searches, which of course is a good thing. So 